This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at rate expressions. A rate expression, which can also be called a rate law or rate equation, expresses the rate of reaction as a function of reactant concentrations and temperature. So here we have a general reaction in which reactants A and B react to form products C and D. And here we can see the rate expression for the reaction which is rate equals K multiplied by the concentration of A raised to the power X multiplied by the concentration of B raised to the power Y. K is the rate constant which is temperature dependent. The rate constant K has a specific value for a reaction at a certain temperature. X is the order of reaction with respect to A and Y is the order of reaction with respect to B. Orders of reaction will be covered in more detail in the next video. The sum of x plus y is the overall order of reaction. So next we look at some examples. In our first example, we have a reaction where hydrogen reacts with nitrogen monoxide to produce water vapor and nitrogen gas. The rate expression for the reaction, which has been experimentally determined, is shown here. The rate expression tells us that the reaction is second order with respect to nitrogen monoxide and first order with respect to hydrogen. And the reaction is third order overall. In our next example, we have the reaction between nitrogen monoxide and ozone to produce nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gas. The rate expression for the reaction, which has been determined experimentally, is shown here. The reaction is first order with respect to both nitrogen monoxide and ozone. And the reaction is second order overall. The components of a rate expression can only be determined experimentally. So initial rates are calculated using concentration measurements. Orders of reaction are calculated using initial rates from several experiments. And the initial rate and orders of reaction are used to calculate the value of the rate constant K. So now that we've had an introduction to rate expressions, in the next video we'll look at orders of reaction.